There is a precious treasure in the middle Frulian plain. It's the small church of St. Andrew in Gris di Bicinico, a jewel of faith, devotion, and art nestled in the heart of a simple and proud community. Today the church is in the center of the town. It is an unpretentious but significant place of worship for more than a few 350 inhabitants that call it La Gliseute, Little Church in Friulian language. The actual building dates back to the end of 15th century and it is located on a previous place of prayer, even if we don't know anything about it except that it belonged to Pieve di Lavariano, a small village nearby. Greece was founded probably after the Hungarian invasions. At the beginning of 15th century, the danger of invasion and famine encourage the people of Greece to build this little church for protection and security of their souls. We can also admire the fresco of 16th century made after the terrible earthquake of 1511. It is a unique and extraordinary testimony of a whole cycle of frescoes, 230 square meters, and comprehend the complete story of the Bible. The building is a rectangular hall with a pentagonal apse and a tower bell on the top of the front door. The most ancient entrance was on the right side of the church, now occupied by the new chapel and other windows. We know that that which leaves speechless, it is the interior of the church. The visitor is surprised by colors, pictures, people, landscapes. All the walls of the hall of presbytery, of the main arch, are decorated with the history of salvation. From creation to the final judgment, there are 72 scenes which correspond to the Old Testament on the left side the New Testament and couples of patron saints on the right. The Annunciation, the Crucifixion, the Apostle, Saint Andrew, the Risen Christ, the Evangelist, John the Baptist and the Fathers of the Church around the apse and the final judgment over the entrance. Every picture is defined by the frame with adornments, while at the base of the walls there are decorations like false marble panels. In every scene there is a bare landscape with dark brown and greenish hills, with occasional woods and a stony land that remember the countryside around Greece. There are contemporary elements of the 16th century, like the portrait of the commitment, the clothes, the soldiers, knights, and description in Gothic script. The fresco are well preserved thanks to a coat of lime added on them in 1606 until nowadays.
The story of the Bible starts from the left side with the most important episodes of Old Testament. The scenes are divided on 16 pictures of three rows. On the upper right of the wall, the creation, red arrow, and on the left, the story of Noé, blue arrow. We can read the images from up to down, from right to left, and from left to right, in alternate rows. After the creation of the universe follows the creation of Eve from Adam's rib, the temptation of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve work the soil and there are white turnips, typical vegetable of the Friulian plain, used to prepare a Friulian dish. Cain and Abel offer their products from agriculture, full spikes from Abel and empty spikes from Cain. The murder of Abel ends this narrative cycle. The joining link starts with Lamech, Noah's father that kills Cain by mistake. Another cycle starts with an angel announcing the great flood to Noé and suggests him to build the ark. Noé built it with the help of a son. There are three panels with a great flood. In the first, the entrance of the animals in the ark. In the second, the overflow of the earth. In the third, the gradual recede of the water and the end of the flood represented by a dove with an olive branch. Noé becomes a farmer with a shoot offered by an angel, but he doesn't know the effects of the wine. He gets drunk and sleeps naked. Two sons, Sam and Yafet, cover him, while Cam mocks him. Noé after learning about the behavior of the sons, blesses Sam and Yafet, and curses Cam. At the end of the left wall, a worship painting with the Virgin Mary on the throne and Jesus' child between St. Gregory and Christopher inside a niche. Below an inscription with the name of commitment, 1529, Bernard and his wife made this work for their devotion. Maybe refers to the treasurer of the church, portrayed in the painting of commitments, wearing light dress on the right wall. On the right wall, there is the representation of the New Testament with a couple of saints. There are 16 scenes, two of them are the frame of originary window and entrance. Also, here the story is divided in two half of the wall. On the right side of the wall, the New Testament. On the left, four couple of saints, the commitments and the nativity that completes the cycle of incarnation start from the Annunciation on the main arch. The story of Jesus goes on with two episodes the presentation of Jesus at the temple and the escape to Egypt, following the adult age with a Samaritan at the well and the resurrection of Lazar. Following four panels tell the story of the Passion of Jesus Christ. The most important fresco is the Last Supper, a big painting with a presentation of Christ blessing the bread the Apostles and Judas, who is leaving the room. The table set with lamb, bread, red wine and prose, typical food of Friulian area, gives an idea of everyday life in this region. Maybe a food eaten in Lent period. 
The story continues in Gethsemane with a kiss from Judas, the capture of Christ, the flagellation and the ascent to Calvary. On the left part of the wall, there are four couples of saints with their names and their characteristics. For example, Saint Lawrence and Saint Floriano are protectors against fires and natural calamities, common disaster at that time. Saint Sebastian and Saint Rocco are protectors against plague and famine. To be preserved from diseases, people implore Saint Anthony from Padua and Saint Gottardo. To protect helpless and poor people, it is requested the blessing of Saint Nicola from Bari and Saint Vito. The last important painting is the portrait of commitments with joined hands on their knees looking toward the altar. The first on the left, Johannes Battista, the priest of Lavariano, with priestly clothes, following the treasurer with the original key of the church, still existing, other men of the town of Greece. The inscription is a testimony of the foundation of the church and says, Johannes Battista de Palmia et Ominibus de Grace, 1531. In the main arch, there are two big themes told on three rows. The Annunciation, the Crucifixion and the Life of some Saints. In the center of Crucifixion of Christ, pierced by the spear of the night. On both sides, the two thieves on the curved trees. On the left, the pious women with Saint John supporting Mary. On the right, soldiers and men on their horses watch the scene. Many things of the scene remind us of Reulian land. The hills, the 16th century clothes, the armor of soldiers, the flags of different towns, the presence of Turks in Friulian plain. Below the Annunciation is divided in two parts. On the right, the Archangel Gabriel and Virgin Mary in front of a Bucharest, it by luminous beams and by Holy Spirit represented like a dove. At the base, Saint Michael, who shoots the devil supporting the scale of souls, and Saint George, who pierced the dragon with a spear. In the arch, Saint Anthony Abbot, with a small pig and a series of women saints, Lucia, Agatha, Cecilia, Dorotea, Caterina, Maria Maddalena and Apollonia, all with their symbol of martyrdom. People invoked all the saints against poverty and diseases. The apse is a triumph of magnificence of scenes and colors, maybe painted by another artist to whom was reserved the most important part of the church. There are several parts, in the lower part the Apostles, with a motive of false arches. In the middle, five scenes of the story of St. Andrew with Gothic scripts. From left to right, St. Andrew transforms seven evil spirits into some dogs who kill the wayfarers outside the city of Nicea. St. Andrew brings back to life a boy killed from evil spirits. Later, he is sentenced to death by Igea. St. Andrew is tied to a cross different from that of Christ.
In the last scene, the sarcophagus of the saint with two six persons who ask for recovery. The window was used by the painter, transforming it in the tomb of the saint. At last, above the ceiling, the four evangelists Saint Mark with lion, Saint John with the eagle, Saint Luke with the bull, and Saint Matthew with an angel. On their feet, two couple of angels. In the upper part of the apse, there are fathers of the church, with the couples of Saint Agostino and Saint Gregorio, Saint Girolamo and Saint Ambrogio, around the risen Christ, who is inside an almond, holding by two angels. St. John the Baptist, holding a title block, Ecce Agnus Dei. Turning toward the entrance, we can see in the center the final judgment. Christ sits on the globe, surrounded by angels. On the right, St. John the Baptist. On the left, the Virgin Mary. Under the Virgin, some angel lifts souls from purgatory, represented like a cistern encouraging, come us by our Lord. Under the Baptist, the damned are in the hell, as it would be a landscape, where the evil spirits inflict tortures of various kind. In the center, Lucifer is represented like a monster, with big horns, big ears, fangs and paws with claws. He sighs the damned, he expels a man among the flames. The title block on the left of Christ says, Ite maledicti in ignem eternum. The visitor leaving the church will remember again the colors, the images of this jewel of spirituality that in end betans of Greece wanted for their faith. Thank you.